on my live today, we had a brief conversation about polygamy. If you would like to see that entire conversation, then you would need to go to my YouTube or Facebook channel, Why or Left Religion with Coach Renz. Uh, but in that conversation, one of the things that we went over as far as if you're going to go by this book, then you need to literally go by this book and not by the dogma or the doctrine or culture that you live in today. You see, according to your book, the only people that was not to have only was to only have one wife would be your priest, your priest, your 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 pastors, your bishops, and your deacons. If you go and read in First Corinthians, I believe First Corinthians four, uh, you will see that it gives the qualifications for a bishop and the qualifications for a deacon, and they are the only ones who were told to only have one wife. Now, many Christians like to point out the fact and say that well, Adam and Eve were the or were one, just one monogamous relationship. But that was something that was later doc included into doctrine in order to convince people of that being the true thing of God. Because almost immediately after that, you begin to see polygamy through Cain's line. And then after Cain's line, you begin to see polygamy with Abraham, uh, Isaac, Jacob. You see polygamy with David. You see polygamy with Solomon and many of the other people who are so-called the great ones of your Bible. Oftentimes that polygamy was not just with a married bride wife that you paid for, but it was also with a slave wife that you paid for because in order for someone to become your wife in the Bible, you merely had to have sex with them unless they were a prostitute. But And that is shown many times in your book when it says to go make wives of the young virgin girls after you've killed all the women who've known a man, the young boys, and the other men. So the only place that you are not supposed to have but one wife is literally if you are going to be a priest or rabbi, or bishop, or a deacon. But as far as any other aspects of your Bible, polygamy is completely okay in your Bible. The problem is that with uh, American society that grew out of European society, which grew out of Roman society, that's when polygamy started to become something that was against Christianity. You see, the people of the Levant understood they can have polygamy. The people in North Africa understood that they can have polygamy. And all, of, all across the ancient world, polygamy was okay. It wasn't until the Romans took over in which the Romans did not participate in polygamy. Sure, they had sex with their slaves, they had concubines, they had other women that they had sex with, but it was not considered marriage based on their culture. Marriage was separated from that. But as the Romans took over, and especially after 381, when Theodosius declared Rome to be a Christian um, empire, then at that point, polygamy started to become something that was outlawed within Christianity because it wasn't the way of the Romans. It wasn't part of the Roman culture. So before you start claiming that to have more than one wife is something that is not of the Bible, you might want to go and read your Bible and get a good understanding of what the relationship situations were and how they developed and, and how the culture was at that time frame. The Adam and Eve part doesn't work because According to your story, there was only Eve, so who else was Adam going to marry even if he wanted to have another wife? But after Eve gives birth to Seth, you don't hear shit else about Adam, so you don't know anything else about Adam. He could have had more than one wife, and don't let me start talking about Lilith. But y'all have a great day. Remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.